Good morning, Ospreys. Thank you for tuning into today's Wake Up Call. I'm Kalila Ritchie, bringing you news from around the world, in our country, and in our city. The trial for Nima Momini begins today, who was accused of killing Cash App founder Bob Lee. Prosecutors say Momini planned the gruesome killing after a dispute involving his younger sister and Lee. Momini's lawyers say he is eager to tell his side of the story, but they haven't decided if he will testify in his defense. Video evidence shows Lee's final moments with the defendant driving off together at 2 a.m. after leaving Momini's sister's apartment. Lee was found staggering around 2.30 a.m. seeking help from bystanders. He had been stabbed and later died in the hospital. Police recovered a knife from the scene with Momini's DNA on the handle leading to the arrest. Extreme weather continues to be an issue going into this week. Sri Lanka has closed schools in Colombo as heavy rains trigger floods. The country's disaster management center says the heavy downpours over the weekend have caused significant damage to homes, fields, and roads. Three people have died by drowning, with over 134,000 people affected by the flooding. Authorities have had to cut power in some areas as a safety precaution. Navy and Army troops have been deployed to rescue victims and provide food and other essentials. In lighter news, Vice President Kamala Harris announced her plan to give black men more economic opportunities. Her plan includes forgivable business loans for black entrepreneurs, creating more apprenticeships, and studying sickle cell and other diseases that disproportionately affect black men. Former President Obama suggested last week that some black men aren't liking the idea of having a woman as president. This initiative is meant to motivate black men to the polls, those who would rather vote for no one than Harris or Trump. That's all for today's Wake Up Call Ospreys. Happy Indigenous People Day, and we'll see you tomorrow.